The investigations and the busts have been going on almost as long as the pandemic itself. We've seen the entire spectrum. The latest uh, announced just with, today, uh, more than 11 million fake 3M N95 masks seized as part of an investigation into counterfeits sold in at least five states to hospitals, medical facilities, and government agencies. Doctors, nurses, and other staff would be left not just unprotected, but with a false sense of security. How dangerous is the exposed individual? How dangerous is the individual uh, confronting a potential COVID-19 infection without any protective gear? 11,000 masks now headed to the trash. Care New England saying they were duped. News Nation affiliates have been following the busts across the country. Part of Operation Stolen Promise launched in April to bring the government and private sector together to fight COVID-related fraud. Everything seemed to be uh, authentic. This Southern New England hospital was targeted in October, buying thousands of fake masks. The latest seizure happened just today. Homeland Security agents intercepting hundreds of thousands more in an East Coast warehouse on their way into the supply chain. And it's not just masks. It runs the gamut. It's everything from the, the, the CARES Act funding to tests to masks. During the pandemic so far, Homeland Security Investigations has seized $33 million worth of phony products, arresting more than 200 people. Tonight, frontline medical workers are being urged to check 3M's website for tips on spotting a fake mask to make sure they're wearing the real thing. In New York, Tom Negevin, News Nation.